Right, what is going on guys? My name is Jason Brown and this is a TXS vlog. It's a really, really hot day today. About 26, 27 degrees, um, which is amazing for where we live. And I've just bought a new anamorphic lens. It is, um, it came very, very quickly. It is a Snyder Cinelux two times anamorphic lens. And I'm very, very lucky because I got it at a fantastic price. They usually these go for um, £5,000 new, I got mine for much, much less. And um, basically I wanted to get into um, anamorphic lenses because I think that's what would help my channel more. I reckon this is more useful for me than a new camera. Now the problem is I haven't got any of the clamps for this yet. Um, I'm going to get that just in a couple of days. So I've got a stool, I've got a camera, and I'm going to try and line up the lens and get a scene over here and hopefully that will work. The lighting is actually pretty harsh right now, you can see just there, but we'll see what we can do. You can see that it's, it's lined up and it sort of looks normal, but if you take a good look, um, it is squished. It's squished horizontally by two times, and that's what's happening in the lens here. It's hard to see, but it's a definite horizontal squish. And usually what I'd do is I'd have a clamp in there, or a 15mm rail system, it's probably a better idea. And I'm most likely going to get a new lens as well, because I think 55mm um, is like the minim minimum focus, um, sorry, minimum focal length that I should be using. I might get away with a 50mm, but I want to prime just in there, and that should just improve it. If we zoom out then, well I won't do it just so I don't want to mess it up, but if you zoom out you'll see vignetting. So we'll hit record on that. So this is what I did to see so if it could focus near um, I don't know at, the, at this current moment in time, but um, what I did was I set it to f4 and I on the lens and I sort of focused it around about here, sat down on this bit here, and just sort of messed around a bit in front of the camera. So see how it turns out. You'll see for yourself. It looks just incredible right now, and I can't wait to um, do literally all my future projects with it. It's just unbelievable. Thank you for watching. I'm Jason for the Extreme Sounds Audio Musician YouTube channel. See ya.